Okay, we have here eight points that are equally spaced on a circle. This is a fun question now. Four of eight points are to be chosen at random. What is the probability that the quadrilateral will be a square? So when we join the vertices together, we will get a square. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these dots here. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that's, that's equally spaced enough. That looks pretty good, decent circle. I'm very happy with my artwork this time around. Now this is a fun question, but it's also a difficult one because you may not be sure what to you may not be sure what to do at this point, and so it's good to kind of experiment with things. So think, well, I can draw these four points together here, but this looks to be like some trapezoid thing. Okay, well I can draw maybe or combine four points across like this, but we're looking for a square. So once you kind of experiment a little bit, you can say, well, how do I get a square? What what what's the possible ways of doing that? And so then you can. Think, uh huh, there's a square going on. And I guess I hadn't really separated these. Oh, well, yeah, no, that's pretty good. That looks that looks squarish enough. I mean, my, my drawing isn't 100% <laughs> according to scale, but there's a square. And so I'm happy because I've gotten a square and I found out there's, hey, there's one possible square. But do I stop there? Well, I look at these points and I say, yeah, look at these guys. There we go. Now I have two squares. And then I come over here and I say, well, here I'm back to where I just started, back to that original square. And if I go on and move another point, start here, it's that other square. So really, there's only two possible squares that we can get. Now, the hard part of this problem is it's a probability problem, and we're looking for desired numbers of outcomes, which is two. But it's two out of what? Well, think of it this way. We're asking how many ways can we arrange four out of eight points? And the order doesn't matter. So it's really how many ways can we choose that? And why do I say the order doesn't matter? Well, let's call this A, B, C, D. Notice this is a square. If I say square A, a B, C, D, does that differ from square D, A, B, C? No, it is the same square. You don't really care about the order of the vertices or these points itself. So we want to use the combinations formula down here, choosing for a total of eight and this is going to be our nice combinations formula. And I actually like to do combinations like this. 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 divide by number of little dashes here, factorial, which is 4 factorial. It's just it's a cleaner, quicker way than doing it like this. And I can see, ah, 8 times 6 is 48. 4 factorial is 24. That leaves me with 2 at the top. 7 and 5 is 35 times 2 is 70. So now we have 2 over 70, which reduces to 1 out of 35, which is answer choice B.